The Fiesta 320 is a brand new boat from the hull up and there's plenty of room for relaxing and entertaining. Let me show you around. 320 boat basically is a revised version of our 312 from last year. For 2005 it's going to be called a 320. Uh, standard this year is a generator, which was optional last year. We found out that most of the 312s being built had uh, generators ordered with them. So we decided uh, to just make it standard this year um, and um, give the customer something extra, basically, something that uh, some of our competition still has as an option. Rinker's all-new Fiesta V320 offers the same outstanding amenities and smooth dry ride of her sisters. She's easy to maintain and delivers the power you need for a comfortable weekend cruise. She offers plenty of choices for personalization, including power packages up to 300 horsepower stern drafts from Mercury and Volvo Penta. Heading up to the anchor is easy up the built-in dash steps and past the walk-through windshield. A heavy-duty anchor and roller lead up to a covered windlass in the bow. A remote control spotlight helps pick out the buoys at night. The helm seat has a nice bolster for stand-up driving positions. Analog gauges and rocker switches are grouped above the wheel and easy to reach. A standard color GPS is just to the left. To the far right is the driver's cup holder and a stereo remote. The VHF radio is below on the right with the breaker panel just below that. The companion side features an L-bench seat with room for several and storage below. A large charge station and three cup holders are on top of the dash over here. The radar arch houses speakers and provides a perfect mounting for the antennas. The wet bar has a covered trash bin, large prep area with covered sink and flip-up blender, and a two cubic foot refrigerator or ice maker simplify keeping the beverages flowing. The stern bench seat has lots of storage below. Filler cushions make this area great for sunbathing. Four fenders fit in the rack across the stern. Now that we've had a chance to check out the cockpit, let's take a walk down and check out the spacious salon. The roomy interior has a port side settee and the galley across on the starboard side. An island berth is forward and has a curtain for nighttime privacy. There's good storage space under the mattress which has a liner to keep things fresh. The power distribution panel is next to the galley which is complete with a coffee maker, microwave, storage, large prep counter, stainless steel deep sink, and a slide out cutting board. More storage is below with a trash bin and slide out silverware drawer. Just below the counter is a refrigerator freezer. Next to the sink is a raised section with a double burner cooktop. More storage and a magazine rack and countertop are next to the settee. A satellite ready stereo and a 6 CD changer are mounted above the settee in the wall. CDs and DVDs can be stored in this cabinet. A TV DVD player is on the other end with a hanging locker underneath. The table here can easily be lowered to convert the settee to a bunk. For a boat this size, it has a very roomy head. There's plenty of room in here to take a shower. The vanity sink faucet can be raised to make a handy shower, and the head has a stainless steel sink, cabinet, and quiet flush electric toilet. There's plenty of room to sleep up to six people in this boat, and this bed should have a comfortable ride even when you're running because of the close orientation to the stern. The flying steps really open up the stern berth space. Next to the walkthrough are the battery switches and main power breakers. The fresh water hookup is on the stern next to the walkthrough. The engine hatch is electrically driven for easy access, and our boat was outfitted with the Ocean Series 5-liter engine from Volvo Penta. Another stereo remote is located on the swim platform, and there's also notches molded in for adding an optional dinghy package. Pop-up cleats on the stern are handy for tying off water toys, and a four-step swim ladder makes climbing out of the water easy. The Fiesta V320 measures 33 feet 10 inches length overall and has a beam width of 11 feet 4 inches. She weighs in at 12,360 pounds and carries up to 165 gallons of fuel. We tested the 320 on an inland lake near the plant in Indiana. She reached a top speed of 42.7 miles an hour at 4,800 RPMs. We found her best cruise to be at 3,500 RPMs traveling 27.6 miles an hour for a range of 238 miles on a full tank of fuel. Boy, can you picture yourself throwing a party with some family and friends on this boat? I know I can. The only problem is I don't know whether I'd ever get them to leave.